my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a whole makeup look for you guys using the new Morphe 35G Bronze Gold Palette. I just got this in the mail and I was so excited to get into it for you guys because I've been waiting for a new Morphe palette to come out. It's been a while, I feel like. So when this one released, I'm like, oh my god, I have to have that. Look at the color selection. This just screams summer to me. It just gives me summer vibes, you know, when it's like snowing and we're having a blizzard outside right now. But, you know, this just makes me feel all warm and toasty. And I can just dream of the warm weather, right? <laughs> But this worked amazingly. The eyeshadows in this palette are the normal formula for Morphe. The matte just blended out so nicely. And the shimmers are just so creamy and buttery. I absolutely love Morphe, as you guys know. And I was just so pumped that they came out with a different palette. Because this is something that they haven't really came out with before. Some of their palettes, I feel like they're on repeat. Like, they can't think of new eyeshadows or something like that. But this one, I feel like they haven't did anything like it and the packaging is absolutely stunning. It's not their regular Morphe packaging where it's like all black with like paint across it or something like that but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm really into this packaging. I believe they also came out with some liquid highlights and then some bronzers. I think that's it. I'm not extremely positive but of course I just had to pick up the palette that is all I picked up. But of course for any Morphe collection, if they come out with a palette, I am just so stuck on eyeshadow palettes. They are my favorite things to purchase. I think you can just do a million and one different things with an eyeshadow palette and I think it is so cool. And I'm so excited to do a tutorial using this palette for you guys. I absolutely love how it turned out. To me it's kind of like a more neutral, warm, smoky eye. So of course that's my favorite thing ever. And if you guys are interested in seeing this full face of makeup tutorial. Then of course subscribe down below and let's get into it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look naked in this entire tutorial. I promise I have a shirt on. Do you guys like my headband? It says kiss me. They are so cute. I'm so ready for St. Patrick's Day. Look at my wine glass. It says happy St. Patrick's Day with a clover on the back. It is so cute. But anyways, I already primed and set my eyelids. I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. I don't know why, but my eyelids are so dry right now. I'm not sure why, but they look so crusty. The palette I'm going into is the 35G Bronze Gold Palette by Morphe. I just got this in the mail and I was so excited to get into it. I probably already showed you in the intro, but it did come with this little stupid plastic thing. This thing annoys me so much and all their palettes have it. How hard is it to just print it on the palette? Just put the names on the palette because I don't use this. In fact, I've thrown all of them away, but the color scheme of this palette is so beautiful. I absolutely loved it as soon as I seen it. So since I still have this plastic thing, I'll probably throw it away after this video is done, but I'll tell you guys the name since I still have it. The first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. It's called Sandy. It's just a light tan shade. I actually love the name of this eyeshadow because when I was little, my dog's name was Sandy. Ugh, it just brings back memories, that name. So I'm putting this in my crease and I'm kind of doing circular motions and bringing it above the crease all the way to the outer V and inner V. Okay, then I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's called Neeked. Necked? I'm not really sure, but it's just a little bit more of a darker brown. And I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing, but not take it up as high. Just mainly focusing this color into the crease. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the shade Sandy and kind of just blend out those edges, wiping off my brush a little bit, and then going back into that shade. Because you know, we don't want any harsh lines. Now taking a little bit more of a precise fluffy brush, I'm going to go into Toasted, this dark, dark brown right here, and put that only on my outer V's. All 
All right, now I'm going back into the shade Sandy and I'm gonna be just blending out the harsh lines again. When you are doing a very intense smoky eye, you're gonna wanna go back and forth between the shades because then you're gonna have no harsh lines and everything is gonna look a lot more blended. All right, now this is a cut crease look, so I'm gonna go into this concealer. It's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm gonna take just a very small flat brush to apply it. All right, I'm taking it about three fourths of the way on my eyelid. Now I'm gonna wet my brush and go into this shade right here called Paradise. It's kind of like a light purple shimmer color and just put that on top of the concealer. All right, then I'm gonna go back into the shade Toasted right here and I'm gonna blend out the edges and just amplify the outer V again. And of course, we can't forget the sparkle. So we're gonna go into the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in how many carats? This is so stunning. I've never used this on my eyes before, but I think it would look really pretty over this lid shade. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take my finger. It feels so buttery. Oh my gosh, guys. That seriously just took this makeup to a whole new level. Can you guys tell? This one is really shimmery and this one is just like a metallic. All right, so for the face, I'm gonna use the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I haven't used this in a long time, so I kinda just wanna get into it again to see how I like it. And I just bought a new foundation. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. And I got in the shade Y225. I just heard a lot of good things about this foundation and I'm just gonna use it with a sponge, of course. Now for concealer, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, like the concealer I used on my eyelids. This is one of my favorite concealers ever, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. It just blends out like a freaking dream. It is such a good concealer and so affordable. I actually really liked how easy that foundation was to blend out. It was just so nice. All right, now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette in the shade Lucid. And then to set my face, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Translucent Light Setting Powder. All right, now I'm gonna go back into the palette. I'm gonna take the contour shade. And I'm just gonna contour out my face. I use it to contour because it's a little bit more of a grayish undertone and I really like to contour with gray undertone bronzers. Then I'm gonna use this bronzer. It's the Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. Quite a name for Wet n Wild. <laughs> And then for blush, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. I love this blush so much.
Okay, so I just got a new highlighter in the mail today. It's from Melt Cosmetics. Look how big this box is compared to the one product that was inside. Such a big box for just one product, oh my gosh. I had to pick up this highlight because Kathleen Lights kept raving about it. It's the highlight in Stargazer. She says this is kind of like the ABH Amrezy highlight, but just a different shade. But I never picked up the Amrezy highlighter because I just felt like it was too dark for me. But this one looks like it would match me absolutely perfect. But I've kind of been experimenting with this Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow Liquid Highlight. So I'm going to be using this first. I'm just applying some to the back of my hand. And then I go in with the butt of my sponge and kind of just blend it out. And then I put it on my cheeks. It's a nice subtle highlight. It's really stunning. All right, now to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back into the shade Sandy right here. And then I'm gonna go back into Neeked. I don't know how to pronounce that. That is such a weird name, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Then I'm going to go into Toasted and I'm going to be putting that shade along my lower lash line, but only from my pupil outwards. And then for inner corner highlight, I kind of want to do something different. I want to go into these two right here. This is like a pearl white and this is kind of like a pinky salmon color. I just think it would be really pretty to mix them. Alright, I'm going to go apply my lips and mascara and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm all done with my makeup look. For mascara, I did use the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And then for lip product, I use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Take a Pixie. But that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!